Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira, and in this video I'll be talking about multi-language content in .NET Nook. Now, in previous videos I have explained how you can go about adding more languages to your .NET Nook website, and in this case here I already have English installed, which is the default, and I do have French Can Canadian as well installed. As you can see, if I flip back and forth, you're going to see the uh, login and register getting changed. So this has been uh, dealt with in a, in a previous video. But one key element of, of translating a site is not only the static elements like register, login, or even at the bottom, privacy statement, terms of use. It's also about the content. The content, we should have a way to translate the content accordingly as well, which regularly just using .NET Look out of the box, this is not really that much possible. Although, although in very uh, recent versions of .NET Look, DNN 5.5.0, there is already something in that direction uh, but I'm gonna go in a, in a slightly different direction. I'm gonna use uh, a module from a company called Apollo Software, which will allow me to add content in multiple languages in my .NET Nook website. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to download the module from Apollo Software, which is free. And actually, they do have a donation button here somewhere, which I saw early on, but I'm not seeing right now. Anyway, I should go across that in, in the while we are here. So let's try to download the module first of all. Let's go here under .NET Nook, and under .NET Nook, we do have. Oh, here is the donate. So. If you make use of this module, please donate something to the developers. It will be very much appreciated. Now, here is the module. You see, it's free multi-language module. If I click on read more, it will give me more details. And I'm talking about specifically this module called ML HTML. This is a replacement of the standard HTML module that comes with .NET Nook. And there are a couple of things that it does, and they are listed here. And this module also requires another module to be installed called, called module localization. So let's scroll down, and there is a download area here. It does require us to, to log in, and I'm going to log in right now. So I have logged in, and I was redirected to this page. Now I can I should go under ML modules. I can click on it, and I will download two modules. One is Apollo ML version two o six. This is one. I'm gonna go to item download file, save it, and I'm going to download the the other one which is called module localization. And I'm going to go with the latest version which seems to be 501 so i'm gonna click here i'm gonna save this from item download save file so i have downloaded both modules and i'm going to go back to my site to log in as super user because i have to install them so i'm logging as super user user and then i'm going to go to host module definitions and i'm going to install the two modules that i have downloaded Now, there is a required, actually, I have to unzip this before. Actually, after unzipping the file, I saw there is a documentation about installation, and it does require version 3 of module localization. So, I'm going to cancel this window for a second. I'm going back to the site, and I'm going to download version 3 instead of version 5. So, let me click there and download this save. Now I'm going to go back to my site. I'm going to browse. And this is the folder that I have added all the modules. The first one that I will install is module localization version 3. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to open, click next, then next again. Just regular installation next, accept license, 
hit next and it's all installed let's click return so let's see if the module is installed properly the module is right here module localization let's go back to the action menu under install module and let's select the next one which is the the ml html i have unzipped it there is documentation and there is the installation here i'm gonna click open click next installing as a regular html as a regular module next again next again accept license click next and it's installed as well. Let's click return. Let's see if the module is installed properly. It's called ML HTML, so it's right here. Now let's go to my test page. So here's a problem that we want to solve. If I add a text, H if I add a regular HTML module to this page, I can change content, but the same content will be applicable. My content will be applicable to both languages. I can click save and regardless if I select English or French, the same content will be displayed. Now, this is what we want to solve with the new module that we have just added. Let's get rid of this module here of the text HTML. Let's go back to English. Let's get rid of this one. Let's click delete. Now, let's add the ML module to this page. Let's click add module. Now the module is added to the page. I can go to the action menu and then to add text. And let's give it a try here. This is my English text. Let's update this. And now let's select at the top where it says choose language editing. Then let's select French. And I'm gonna say that this is my French text. I'm going to update and close now. Now, I have the uh, English flag, the American flag selected there, so it's English right now. If I click in the Canadian flag, which, will, which should flip to French, it will not only flip, switch the, the static labels, but it should switch the content that I have placed here as well. It should say, this is my French text. Let's see that. See, it's doing just that. So now with this module, with the ML HTML, I can have the text, the dynamic text in the, in the, in the pages translated as well. Of course, I have to translate, but once I put them in, in place, people will be able to see if they flip from English to French, they will be able to see the, the translation there. But there is one more thing here. You can also translate the title of the containers or the title of the module as well. If you go to the action menu and let's flip this again to English action menu and then settings at the button, it says localized mod title. So I can say that English title and I can flip to French and I can say that this is the French title. If I click update, here's the English title. If I flip to French, I'll see the French title as well. Of course, this is just an example, but the module does work quite well. And you can basically use that to translate the content of your website to any language that you might be using with .NET Nook, any multiple languages, three languages, two languages, how many languages you want to, to put your site on. Okay, so this is it for now. This is a, a kind of a review of the ML HTML module from Apollo Software. And that was a great module. Thank you very much for watching this. Bye for now.